Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, you know the routine. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That's very important for the algorithm, for YouTube's algorithm. Very important. So do that for me. Subscribe and hit the like button. Both are one. Now, wow, wow, good topic, good topic here. Fair, but not equal. I think this is a very important subject to expound on. And I thought about this topic when I heard Kwame Brown, one of uh, his videos, uh, he mentioned that, or alluded to that he had an issue with uh, LeBron or the NBA uh, in regards to the NBA not making LeBron quarantine for the 10 to 14 days uh, that's in, in their policy, their, their pandemic or COVID policy when you violate the protocol. So if you don't know, LeBron attended a party um, with Drake and some other cats and, you know, supposedly that violates the protocol, the NBA's COVID protocol, right? Um, now, if we rewind, uh, Lou Williams, three-time, six-man of the year, just like LeBron came into the NBA right out of high school. Um, yeah, from from uh, the, the Georgia area, um, was a McDonald's All-American. Great, great player, even though six man, great player. Actually, as of uh, 2019, he has recorded the most points by a player coming off the bench. So that that's a lot, that's a, that's a great feat. Uh, there's been a lot of great players that have come off the bench. And uh, yeah, he's a, he has accumulated the most points out of those players that have come off the bench that were not starters. Now, last year, when the NBA was in the bubble, right? I think they're in Orlando. Lou Williams got approval. Got approval to leave the bubble to attend the funeral of a family friend. The father of a family friend, his funeral. Uh, he got approval for that. However, after that, Lou Williams went to uh, Magic City popular strip club right in Atlanta so he went there to get some lemon pepper wings that became a big deal right he even uh, I, I want to say uh, uh, patent that that name uh, Lou Williams lemon pepper uh, wings so uh, yeah so it was a big deal he, he's gonna uh, profit off of that but anyway they said he violated protocol and so he was quarantined anywhere from 10 to 14 days. He missed a lot of games. Now, he is an important player. I just gave you a rundown of a few of his accolades. So he is a good player, an important player to his team and to the NBA. He was with the Clippers at the time. They made a big deal out about, about it, man. The media, uh, you know, even I was like, man, this, this is a shame. This brother ain't this disciplined not to, you know, not to do that. But you know, uh, just really stepping back and looking at the full spectrum. He did have uh, permission to go to the funeral. You don't know what mindset this, this man is in uh, after a family friend passes or the father of his family friend passes. Um, 99 thought it was a big deal. Go and stop, you know, get uh, get some wings. Now, some people may say, well, man, did he have to go to a strip club? Well, you got to understand Atlanta. And this guy was born and raised around the Atlanta area, I believe Gwinnett. And uh, that's their culture. So the way someone else may look at strip clubs, they don't look at it like that, man. You get a haircut at their strip clubs. Some people go there just for lunch or dinner. Uh, I think some places sell breakfast. It's a cultural thing. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a big thing like that. Whereas uh, in other cities, it would be a you know more taboo. It's a lifestyle. It's, it's their part of their culture part of their makeup, their fabric in Atlanta. So his mindset around that is totally different from, you know, someone from a different region. 
But Kwame had an issue with this. Lou Williams suspended or, or quarantined, LeBron not. And the, the NBA came out with a statement saying they didn't feel like LeBron's uh, departure or violation of the protocol warranted him being quarantined for 10 to 14 days. And they gave the reasons why. They said at this party, people either had to have uh, uh, the COVID vaccination or they were uh, tested to be negative. Now, I don't know how you, you test that fast in, in a spot like that to come up negative. Maybe you can, though. Uh, so, you know, uh, so they didn't suspend them. But I'm pretty sure at this strip club, Magic City, that Lou Williams went to last year when the pandemic was heavy, we were in the thick of it then, I'm sure they had some kind of procedure in place to see uh, if you were all right, or at least take your temperature. I'm sure they was taking temperatures at the door. I mean, everyone was doing that. So, uh, you know, Kwame had an issue. Many people had an issue. The media isn't even really covering it. I mean, so, uh, Wojciechowski, I think his name, Woj, they call him Woj. I think he kind of um, spoke on it briefly on an offshoot uh, publication. Well, these, it wasn't even a mainstream uh, network of publication. So uh, he barely touched on it. But these guys, Skip, Shannon, uh, Roussard, you know, these, these guys aren't even touching on it. Um, and for good reason. And so we get back to fair, but not equal. So uh, life isn't equal. Life isn't uh, around uh, equal how, you know, how we want to see it. Uh, now, the Bible and the Constitution, well, I guess the Declaration of Independence and the Bible, <clears throat> speak on or allude to that every man is created equal, right? And it should have, the Declaration of Independence says, uh, should have at least a bare minimum of respect and dignity, every man. I agree with that. But in the sense of everyone should receive the same treatment aside from respect and dignity, I don't agree because uh, for several reasons, I believe it was correct. It was the correct move not to suspend LeBron. Uh, case in point, when Lou Williams was quarantined and missed those games, you continue watching the games. You were not disappointed. You didn't skip a beat. Uh, the money remained the same. Everybody got paid the same. Uh, the networks, sponsors were happy. Everyone was happy because Lou Williams doesn't impact their bottom line, right? Doesn't impact their money at all, whether he plays or not. He won't impact the game like that. It's, that's, that's no shock to Lou Williams. And I'll get to that. But LeBron brings a different impact on the game. A lot of people eat. Off of LeBron, off LeBron playing the game, not missing many games. He just came back off an injury, but he hasn't missed many games in his career. They get paid off of the, off his off his image. Uh, his games are highly rated in viewership. People eat. People eat. Uh, he he puts asses in the seats, and he puts eyes to the TV or the phone. That's the impact LeBron has. He's a cash cow. He's a money generator. And you may say, well, just because he generates more money, he should get leeway. He shouldn't get treated the same. Yeah. It's a business. The NBA is a business, right? It's a business. So that's what you got to remember. It's a business. So this ain't about your feelings. And Lou Williams understands this. He understands this. it's a business. And uh, no way were they going to sit LeBron for 10 to 14 days. No way. You would not be watching the games. You would not care. Advertisers would be pissed and they might have a lawsuit uh, 
between them and the NBA and the ESPN and TNT, that, that would get tricky and nasty because LeBron brings in the money. He's the, he's the cash cow. He is the face of the NBA. I like KD. Uh, I like Kyrie. I like uh, Kawhi Leonard. But they don't have the impact LeBron has. Right? They, they just don't bring in those eyes, that viewership, and that money like LeBron. So it was the right move. Um, another reason we can't treat everybody the exact same way because we deny people of exercising and showcasing their uniqueness, right? All of us have unique gifts and talents and skill sets and um, just different, a different glow, different light. And so when we try to treat everybody the same, man, you're gonna have resentment, you're gonna have bitterness, and you're not gonna get full diversity to let everybody showcase what they bring to the table, their uniqueness. You know, that's what you want. You want different flavors, where you make this big old gumbo, you got these different ingredients, and uh, it's a big rainbow of gumbo of people, and they bring a different flavor, different uniqueness, different texture to this dish. And that's how I see the world. Everybody should be, be unique. Uh, I'm not a suburban white guy. Don't don't treat me like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a thug either. Don't come at me like that. I'm me. I'm SD. So you got to get you know SD to treat SD properly. And you are you. So that's just life. So I don't believe in treating everybody the same. But like I said, everybody should be. Granted, the basic, the basic, uh, basic uh, levels of equality, and that is respect and dignity. Everybody should be shown that. That shouldn't have to be earned. You know, I know, and I, I kind of touched on this in a previous video that, you know, this older dodge that uh, respect is, is earned, not given. You know, that should be a basic thing to give someone respect uh, and dignity. Now. You know, anything above that, yeah, that they have to earn that, right? On their own actions, to, you know, something they bring to the table. So, uh, yeah, I disagree with my boy Quan May Brown on that. LeBron should not be uh, quarantined. It's a business. He is unique and uh, in respect to the NBA in that regard. And uh, that's that's life, man. So, you know. Everything is not, not equal, but everything is fair. Meaning, Lou Williams has an opportunity to bring just as much impact to the NBA as LeBron if he had that talent. Yeah, the, I mean, the NBA is not going to hold you back. If you're a star, you're a star. If you bring in the money, you bring in the money. If you got that personality... They're going to capitalize on him. They're not going to hold you back. But that's not Lou Williams. That's not how he was created. So, uh, and when I when I think of every man created equally, I think of every man has an opportunity, right? An equal opportunity. Now, whether you can seize the moment and capitalize off that opportunity, that's that's totally up, totally up to you. But I don't believe in people having equal outcomes. You know, I, I don't believe in that. Uh, you get out what you put in. So, yeah, yeah, that's uh, something, you know, I took from that. You know, I like to reflect on situations throughout the world and my own life and see, like, what can I learn from this and try to be introspective and see what can I learn, what can I share with the people. So, yeah, that's my take on that whole thing. Uh, it's fair, but it ain't equal, nor should it be. Alright, peace. Bartender, yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, Bossier. No rocks, no chasing, baby.